Welcome back to Penguin Game Day. Again, week two of the college football season and in the hot seat right now or on the hot seat, junior wideout Bryce Oliver. Bryce, happy you could be here. Thank you. Uh, happy to be here. Happy to be here. Talk some uh, football with you guys. All right. And again, big week one win over Duquesne. Six receptions, 58 yards. What was, seemed like everything was coming to you out there. Um, uh, I think of myself, I kind of left some uh, throws on the field. Uh, I would say I could have made those plays, but you know, it's always good to be back on the field making plays. Um, and I'll, always when I'm on the field, I feel like I'm the best player on the field. That's the mentality I come in game in, game out. Uh, the way I prepare, definitely, uh, I feel like I have to prepare the best. I feel like I do prepare the best, you know. So just when opportunity comes in the game, I feel like I have to make the play. That's it. And you're undoubtedly a leader of this talented receiving core. Just talk about throughout the offseason, what was one of the focal points for your guys' group? Um, just just coming in and let's build the cohesiveness. You know, we were a young group last year, especially at the quarterback position. Uh, Demetrius way older, uh, way more experienced now. Now that he got a season under his belt, definitely. We got some guys coming back at receiver. Took a, uh, a hit with CJ going down, but you know, like uh, we got the young guys like Max Tomzak stepping up. We got a, uh, a young guy that transferred in to Trevor Fordham that stepped up a lot. Uh, you know, so that helped us a lot. Uh, during the off season and then just now during uh, fall camp. And looking at this highlight here, I mean, you bouncing off of defenders, I mean, really setting the tone, I'm sure, for that sideline. Guys, happy to see you doing that. But what do you just take away from this performance? Um, it's just all a test of what uh, the work we put in during the off season. You know, uh, I took this off season personally, uh, especially in the weight room. I probably have the highest numbers I put up in the weight room in a long time especially uh, my, with my lower body, you know, it, it, you can show from the film, just me just bouncing off tackles. You know, I, I took this option personally, just mentally also uh, in the film room and studying opponents, you know, I took uh, multiple days where I just studied uh, NFL tape and just uh, also uh, opponent tape. So uh, this off season has been a, a big leap for me from last year. And you hear coaches praise about strong hands and you can see right there ripping off a release there but I mean just talk about the physicality and how important it is now especially in this game. Um, obviously like that's a part of my game on physicality. Um, you always as a receiver you always want to use your physicality or use your finesse. Uh, sometimes when you're physically opposing to a defensive back you know it, got, it can wear on them throughout the game. I feel like I can uh, wear my uh, opponent out with my physicality and also I can use my finesse too so just that be, being able to be balanced and uh, being able to use any tool I can in my toolbox uh, is a test of my game. And we saw success really in, in all three phases but we see what Jaleel can do but knowing that they're going to key in on him how important is it to, to keep the passing game going? Definitely that's it's all about balance you know uh, Obviously, the whole country is know, knowing he's going to get the ball at some point in time in the game. Uh, he's a dynamic player, probably the, one of the best running backs I've seen since I've been in college, and I've seen a lot of great running backs. And just knowing that uh, the, the pass game and what we have is going to keep everything up to, up to par and balance, it's going to be hard for us to stop. When we get everything clicking, it, it's going to be hard for us to stop. We're going to be very scary in the Missouri Valley Conference. Of course, and we talked about you being a leader, I mean, a transfer in from Kentucky. Um, just kind of talk about what the transition of being a leader is like over the past couple of years. Uh, I've definitely, uh, I've been in leadership positions uh, throughout my life, you know. Uh, uh, when I was at UK, we all, we all had older guys, so I really wasn't in like a leadership position there. But just coming here and be able to instantly be a leader in the room um, was very humbling, you know. Um, uh, took me back like when I was like in high school. I hadn't been like a leader like in the room since like high school. So it definitely was uh, a blessing in disguise because it also taught me some things that uh, maybe I needed to change or things I needed to do. Uh, it's always a blessing to learn from other guys too, not just being a leader, but you also, you also can learn from the other guys in the room too. So that was uh, a good thing. Of course, and as far as school, last time we talked with you, you know, you were a public health major. Is that still the same goal you have in mind? Oh yes, still public health. I still want to um, open up the uh, program for uh, less fortunate uh, males, most, mostly males, uh, in like mostly urban neighborhoods that have less father, no father figures. I've also been getting great feedback. Somebody wrote me from, that was, I guess somebody wrote me that was incarcerated also, um, and just talking about like, uh, just keep going and that people are looking at me and I'm a big role model in the city and I have no clue. And I asked like, 
And during off season, that woke, that woke like woke me up a little bit because I was like actually humbling. It almost brought me to tears actually. So that was nice to see that I was getting letters from people that's incarcerated. So, Bryce, that's awesome, man. And good luck to you both on the field and in the classroom, and with all your future endeavors. And before we go, uh, for tickets. You can go to the YSU website or you can call the number on your screen. When we come back, we'll be speaking with Coach Doug Phillips and turning the page and talking about Dayton when we continue.